Greetings team! Today I have for you some thermal data gathering solutions. If you might want any of these items, uh, go to uh, the description in this video and I will have some Amazon affiliate links. Uh, this one here is a simple infrared thermometer by Etech City laser grip 1080 claims it goes down to negative 58 or 1130 Fahrenheit. I found that it does a good job to about five. Anything below that it just shows errors and I've only gotten it up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This one's fairly nice, just a simple point and click and show you where you're aiming. I found it to be fairly accurate as far as temperature goes. You can turn the laser on and off if you like by letting go of the trigger and pushing a button. You can actually change the EMS value like so. The uh, point 0.8 works great for me. You can also turn the backlight on and off when holding the trigger and pushing a little button. All in all, a great unit for just quick point and shoot data gathering. You might feel a hot spot somewhere or a cold spot and you want to put a number to it. This is great for that. Uh, I primarily use this for double checking the temperature of my hot ends for my heat plates or doing various soldering techniques. Doesn't really get much use outside the lab. The other item I have here is from Klein Tools, and it is a full-blown thermal imager. Why I went this route as opposed to one that you pop into your phone is because I wanted a small, compact unit that had the screen right in it that I didn't have to have two devices with me. So I could just take this if I really wanted to. So you'll see, I, I have it set to the way I like it. If I hold my hand down on the table here, you'll see that the print is still there. If you want to retain an image, you can actually take a picture after it was done calibrating. It will have the image, you know, it stays still now. You can then save it. And there we go. To bring that up, you'd hit mode, navigate over to the little picture here. And then there, it shows that static image once again, uh, it saves it on the micro SD card that you have that you can put on the side of the little rubber stopper. You do have to have that SD card to be able to save images. You can pop the SD card out and come out. It's just a JPEG. Very nice that way. There are a lot of settings here. Do a long press to go back. A lot of various settings on this device. Temp bar to actually show the variation that you saw. Set your date and time. You can set your emissivity. Set your auto power off between 5, 15, and 30 minutes, I believe. Uh, you can set your brightness. I actually have it on the lowest brightness setting right now. It's, it's plenty for that. You can set a high-low for temperatures, locale, uh, and format your various SD cards. Long hold goes back is what that says right there. Can't read it. You can change the, the color code. They have three palettes to go through. You can set uh, your targets to be either a center, so I have the center on, so wherever you hold that little center icon, it'll tell you in the upper left what your temperature you're looking at is, and you can also have the hot spot and low spots show up, and what that looks like, you'll see those two, I'll put my hand down here, I'll look away, so you'll see those two rectangles that float around, and what those two rectangles are showing you is where the high and low spots are in your image. And you'll also notice that graph has a number on the top and a number on the bottom. It is telling you what those two points are. It's been very nice. I feel it's very well built. Uh, this is a metal face. It doesn't let you damage the thermal camera. It does have a spot for a lanyard. Overall, feels very sturdy. The buttons feel nice. feel like it'll last a long time. This is where you take your pictures. This is where you turn it on and off. The only gripe I have with it is, this is 2025, and... Just bought this thing, like I said. Still employs a micro <laughs> USB. I'd have to take a star off of it for that, so four out of five for those issues. But it did come with the micro cable, which is good because I actually don't have these anymore since pretty much everything I have is USB-C now and things I didn't have, I tossed them out. They must have just not updated this model. Don't know when they're going to do that. They probably haven't even sold them when they made this batch, so probably never. It does come with this very flimsy case. This case offers nothing in the way of protection. 
It does have a little strap here where you can set this in for whatever reason. Don't think I'll ever really be using that. It'll just sit right here. But this is great to keep the charging cable, data slash data cable, because you can also grab the pictures off of this uh, by plugging into that port. Uh, keeps in one place. And a little lanyard so you can bring it down in the field with you. So why would you want to use this versus this? So as you see, I still have both, and I plan to keep both, because like I said, this is great to just keep uh, down at the bench and if you need a quick check on something, you can just go ahead and get that information right then and there and not have to fiddle around. This is great for getting a full picture of what you're looking at. For example, when I shine this at my walls in my built shed here in the dead of winter, when it's five degrees outside, you can actually see where the studs are. Since all of these walls are facing outward, you can see where the studs are because they are a couple degrees colder and this thermal imager gives you an idea of where that is. It also shows you where the least amount of insulation in your walls happens to be. So if you were gonna go through and fill in your walls with spray foam or something, this would be great because you could actually hold the thermal Im imager up, sort of check where it is and put a little mark there and, and go back and do it. The other great thing about this is circuit boards. I'm, my main use for this is checking the thermal readouts of various boards that I'm building. Just feels nice, nice in the hand, nice to use. Um, overall, very happy with it. And again, knocked a star off because of the outdated charging port. Other than that, great product. If you have no thermal data gathering capabilities other than just touching something with your hand, uh, I would recommend getting this. They're fairly inexpensive. It's, it's great to have around. And don't fear that if you do eventually upgrade to a full-blown imager that you'll still likely still use this here and there uh, and this will just make a lot of other tasks go by much much easier so i would really consider something more like this to be the entry level the other ones that are cheaper than this i would almost say aren't worth it just looking at the online retailers they do not look like they are worth the money but if you really have to have an image and you can't spare the extra hundred bucks maybe that would work who knows thank you for watching and until next time i'm the ill-informed human goodbye